Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, the sweetest MC, yes. And if you haven't known, um, a couple weeks ago I chopped off all my hair. So the big chop is out. I am loving and feeling this look. So far so good. So today's video, I'm going to go ahead and dye my hair with the Bijan hair color. It's a permanent hair color powder and it has no ammonia. So that's one of the reasons why I'm using it. And also because my late mom always used it. When I was younger, I watched her putting it in her hair as I grew up. But anyways, I got the number 58 black brown color and I just found it at the grocery store look at these gorgeous eyes look at that face all right so the reason why I'm doing this is because I shaved off all my hair and it's harder for me to blend in my grays with my black hair so it was either to, that spot right there to dye that silver which I considered or to go ahead and just dye all my hair black. So I'm going to start off with making it all black. I have some grays sporadically, especially in that main spot. So today I'm going to make some adjustments. We have instructions. We have a pair of gloves. And we got the container for the water. And of course the product itself. I'm using number 58. This is a better view permanent powder, permanent hair color powder. And there's not that much in the container, but a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna try to see if I could show you where it's filled up to, kind of like in that spot right there. So it's not that much, but a little bit is supposed to go a long way. So I'm gonna actually open it up. It comes with a cap popping that cap off and today I'm going to use about half of it that's all I'll use let me see there we go a little a better view so that's about half of the powder and there goes the container. It shows you where to put the water if you're using a full bottle, half a bottle or a quarter of a bottle. All right, so I got my water in this container for about half and I'm gonna pour it in with the powder. I'm only going to pour like about half of what I have right now and then I'm going to start mixing. This is so super simple. You just mix the powder with water and that is it. This mixture here looks like yeast. Looks like I'm mixing yeast. Um, I'm using a q-tip just because that's what I had close by to mix. I was looking for a stirring um, stick but I couldn't find one so I just grabbed a q-tip. So I'm just mixing and they say that you got to mix until you get a consistency of ketchup. Mine was a little more runny than ketchup but but it was all good. These are some decent gloves that they have in the package. So I'm putting them on. Alrighty, so I did put some Vaseline around my edges so that way I wouldn't get any on my skin or on my ears. And I'm just gonna remove product off of the Q-tip. And then I'm going to use my, I'm using the same comb that I use for when I used to do the relaxer since I don't have that special um, or the one specifically for hair color. And I'm just going to go all around my head and apply the product.
All right, let me get a little closer so you guys could see it a lot better. So now my goal is to apply the product as evenly, quickly, and as carefully as I can. Alrighty, I'm about done and you're supposed to I'm supposed to leave this in my hair for about 30 minutes I set my timer on my phone and I'm gonna clean up a little bit before I rinse it out all right I'm all rinsed off and washed up ready and set Ta -da! look at me shaking my head like I got hair to shake anymore yo that powder is something serious I love it it came out so nice I think I got a little too much over here on the left, but after the video, I worked it out. I cleaned it up with a little bit of alcohol, not too much because the alcohol will strip the color, but I cleaned it up and it came out so nice. Yes, Bidgen. Thank you. I call it Bidgen. There's so many ways to pronounce it, but I'm very happy with the way this has turned out. So for now, I'm going to definitely recommend this product. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and taking this journey with me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Much love.